Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign and welcome back to Moonlight Sculptor. Today's video is just going to be teaching you what you need to do for your dailies, what you need to keep up with, if you haven't got as much time, what you should optimize your time with when you actually have time to play. Obviously, when you don't have time to play, if you're sitting at work and you just want to put your phone into eco mode, you can do that and actually just grind out some levels while you're not being able to play. But when you are being able to play, there are quests to do, there are dungeons to get in, there are daily tasks you need to complete complete to get items. There are weekly tasks that you complete by doing the daily tasks. There are raids that start up at certain times of the day and there are arenas that start up at certain times of the day. It is all done by the time within the game, not the time of real life obviously they're just going to have like they have a different day and night cycle inside of the game which caused a lot of confusion for quite a few people so this will be my series on tutorials and guides tips and tricks for moonlight sculptor they're going to be short sweet and they're just going to give you the information that you need so first thing you want to look at is actual daily dungeons now i haven't done my daily dungeons today just to show you guys what you need to do now these daily dungeons do give you a lot of good items especially if you get to the high when you get to the higher levels you do get quite a lot of good stuff there's the monday Tuesday, Wednesday, each day gives you different rewards. So the Monday is going to be your upgrade stuff for your weapons and your armor. Tuesday will be the white lunarium, which is used in crafting and upgrading your equipment. Wednesday is skill books, so you can level up those skills. When you get to higher levels, you do get quite a lot. Like the 110 one almost gives you a full one to level nine in the starting of skills. Your Thursday gives you your moonbow essence, which is used to, it's instead of items to upgrade your actual sculptures. And your common equipment specialization pack, which gives you little potions that allows you to boost up your specializations. On Friday, you get the Essence of Enlightenment. Now, these guys actually are used to upgrade your lower tier stuff. So from white to green on your skills. On Saturday is your lesser gold chest. Now, this becomes quite important later on in the game when you're spending absolutely hundreds of thousands to millions on potions. And on Sunday will be the XP quest. So today being the day that it is, which is Friday. I almost forgot what day it was then. Everything's just kind of melding into one. So we're going to be going into difficulty three. Now, these are really quick dungeons. They literally take less than two minutes to actually complete. So we're going to go into the dungeon and I'll quickly show you what's up inside of here. So we, when you get inside, you have five minutes to defeat the huge treasure chest. So basically, just run inside, kill everything you can, right up until the point. There's loads of traps on the floor in here, which is an absolute bloody nightmare. Where is the giant chest? So you just run in and you murder this guy. They're pretty simple. The daily quests are really simple. Some of them are clearing out like certain like tiny little level one mobs. That give you, they don't give you much XP, but you do get items quite quickly on this one. So there we have the daily dungeon. That one's done. I now have 10 of those upgrade potions. You got to make sure to do these every day because these are actually mostly bought within the store and this is the only really free way of getting those certain items. So let's look at raids. Now the raids are open at 3 a.m., 6 a.m., 9 a.m., 12, 3, 6, 9, and midnight. And when you're actually sitting around and you're doing stuff and you're like, uh, don't ever just be sitting around doing nothing. Always have that grind going. Always have that auto going. Always have that killing going. It will maximize your XP. Obviously, because some of us are much higher level, there's not going to be many people that go into these raids. So always try to do the raid that's a little bit less. So level 93 one is okay because there's quite a lot of people that have got above that certain entry requirement now. But this one, for instance, there's only a few of us that are actually in there. So it's quite difficult. Now let's talk about the dueling. It is the same as raiding. It opens up at certain times. 1 to 3, 7 to 9, 1 to 3, 7 to 9. And this is dual time is UTC plus 2. And these open for two hour periods. I haven't really been keeping up with it. And I'm still 8th place. I haven't done it in a couple of days. I've been sort of trying to... I spent an entire day trying to fix that bloody quest, the Kalakaya's quest that everyone's stuck on. The devs are working on that. They will get that fixed. So when you're doing your daily routine, you're doing your grinding, you're doing some of your questing, obviously you want to be going into the trophies and clicking on get all on the different areas. This will get you quite a lot of gold. You want to be going into your codex and actually filling in some of the items and requirements that you're getting for gathering collection transforms and monsters you want to be getting that as much as possible you can stack these there's no time limit on that it's just something nice to be able to get done when you're doing your sort of daily routine and if you click this little calendar button here we have the daily login rewards you have the new hero attendance the login time special you've got your daily benefits which require money to actually purchase those packages. I haven't done any of that. 
So far, there's no daily quests in the actual quest logs that you can go in, but you can go and do repeatable quests if you've run out of quests or if you can't get past a certain level in the main quest because your gear isn't upgraded enough, etc. There are sort of repeatable kill quests that you can do once a day. You can see which are the repeatable quests because you can go to different... So you can find most of the repeatable quests when you finish an area and you finish the whole quest hub in that area. You actually go to the little camps here. You can just click on it and then click teleport if you want to or click on it and you start running get back to actually killing stuff. And you can repeat those once a day if you're like sitting a little bit behind. Maybe you've got a little bit too far along in the main quest line and your level's a little bit lower than you think. You can do this to get some decent XP in those areas that you've already completed for the main quest. Rather than just grinding, it gives you a little manual play if you want to actually sit there and actually do some stuff. Now, lastly, we have the daily tasks. These daily tasks will give you various items, various potions. You got to complete certain tasks during the day. They're always the same. You have complete 10 quests, dismantle 20 pieces of equipment, visit your home one time, just press that little button up here to visit your home, just teleport there and teleport back to where you were going or you can run there if you haven't got any teleport scrolls. Log in one time, consume 20 pieces of equipment through specializations. I will be doing a guide on all of upgrading your gear, how to get the items, upgrading your skills, how to get the items, etc., etc. Those will be coming very soon. I'm gonna try to get a guide out every day for you guys. Hopefully between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. CEST, which is UTC plus one currently. But you have your 100 monsters, sell an item in a shop one time, clear a dungeon one time, and then you have your weekly quest that you can sort of, they basically, it just builds up what your daily quests are and it'll you'll complete your weekly tasks as you're completing a daily task so don't worry about that just complete your daily task every day and you will complete the weekly task there is one or two on here that you don't see in the daily task and that is fusion option stones so you can fuse them to make them higher grade again those guys will be coming out you have attempt to raid three times so you can do that three times you can get that done in a day not an issue and then there's attempt to fish 50 times gathering 30 times and craft item 20 times, etc, etc. But it's the stuff you're going to be doing anyway as you're playing the game. They haven't put it as too much of a limit on what you need to do. And that is basically my daily routine and what the game allows you to do on your daily exploration into the game. Hope you found this useful. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. This is your one-stop shop for mobile gaming. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams. I want to say a huge thank you to all my patrons. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to continue doing what I'm doing. If you'd like to find out how to become a patron and how to get early access to my content, please look down in the description. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams.